Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn T-buffer output and T-buffer input component. Why do we use them? Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and if you like my videos, please share with your friends as well. So T-buffer output and T-buffer input components are used to store the data in buffer and retrieve the data from the buffer. Let's see how we can do this in talent job. I have created a talent job and I am using one source file which is having some records. Let's see what records it has. Okay. So we have three records. Now suppose I want to perform some operation on this. I am using tmap component to perform some operations. I will connect these two components using main row. I will create one output. I am going to link these columns. And here I want to increase the salary by 2. Now I am going to dis run the job and display the data using tlog row component. As you can see the salary got double. Now from this point onward I want to reuse this transformed data multiple times in this job. So how I can do this? I have two options. First is I can perform this uh, operation multiple time or operate I can store this transform data somewhere and I can reuse that data again and again. So the second approach is efficient and we have T buffer component to cater this need. So I am going to create T buffer output component over here and link this component to T buffer output. Now let's run the job. You can see three rows are forwarded to T buffer output. Now I want to retrieve the data from T buffer in later jobs. So uh, I will I will create one component buffer input I link these uh, subjobs with on subjob ok and I am going to print the data from t buffer input on console I have to still, uh, define the schema as well so I will copy this schema paste it over here I am running the job now so you can see three rows are uh, being stored in t buffer output and those three rows are getting retrieved from t buffer input component I can use this t buffer input multiple time in my job which will retrieve the same number of records every time here also i have to define the schema So I will compare the data of T log row 2 and T log row 3 after running the job. It should be same. Yes. And as you can see, the data is same only T log row 2 and T log row 3. This was about T buffer output and T buffer input component. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section. Thank you.